And Six also wanted to know how snowfall will affect the Portland metro area. Hannah Schaefer with the Portland Bureau of Transportation joins us live over Zoom this morning. Uh, good morning, Hannah. Good morning. Well, what are some of the main things that uh, people here in Portland should know as we start our day? Well, overnight last night, our crews applied anti icer and salt to 100% of our routes. So we have been aggressively pre treating our roads in order to get ready for this event. Right now, we are on a cruise shift, and so our day crews are going to be coming in for their 12 hour shift. We have entered our 24 hour emergency operations, and we'll continue to do that, uh, be in that, in that state until uh, this weather event has passed. Uh, we want folks to really remember to keep out an eye out for each other, to check on your neighbors today and make sure that they have everything they need before you head out to the grocery store. And also prepare yourself to clear your sidewalk. So grab a snow shovel if you don't have one already or some ice melt and be ready to do take care of your sidewalks as well because that allows for folks who need to get out to be able to safely walk to their transit stops. Yeah, no, that is a definitely good advice. And we have been reminding people all morning about what they should have in their car. You know, we know you should always carry chains. I have those tire socks for, for my car. Uh, what other emergency items do people really need if they have to head outside? You want to keep water in your car, probably a warm blanket. If you're planning to walk or bike, of course, wear lots of warm layers. A hat is really important. You're, a lot of your heat escapes through your head. So if you can wear a hat, that's a great way to help stay warm. Um, and But most of all, if you can, we really want to urge people to consider just delaying their trip once uh, the weather starts to change here. You know, take advantage this morning of, of the milder weather uh, and take care of what you need to take care of. And then if you can, just hunker down and stay home and enjoy the snow from, from your window. Where are the real problem areas in Portland Metro? I know that there are some places when we have a big weather event, uh, they always get hit hard. So where are you looking at specifically? Uh, we're going to be looking at all of Portland, but particularly areas out near the gorge. We're going to be keeping a closer eye on those and higher elevations like the West Hills and Mount Scott. So those are typically some of the areas that do get hit harder, especially with this event with the gorge uh, winds where we're expecting that there may be some additional wind and ice uh, or wind and, and colder temperatures out closer to the Gorge area, so East Portland and Northeast Portland. All right, Hannah Schaefer with PBOT. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and for the winter weather driving tips.